New rule changes for vaccines means thousands more people in Illinois will get their shots sooner. Today, Governor J.B. Pritzker announced the state is expanding the number of people who will qualify for vaccinations under Phase 1B. The governor says the vaccine supply is steadily increasing, so starting February 25th, access will expand to anyone with serious or life-threatening health conditions over the age of 16. Conditions include cancer, kidney disease, COPD, diabetes, obesity, heart disease, pregnancy, and sickle cell disease. The rules are also changing for restaurants. More people allowed to dine in. CBS 2's Marissa Parra is live in our street side studio. Marissa, some restaurant owners still aren't happy. Erica, with Valentine's Day on Sunday, a lot of restaurants were hoping for looser restrictions to allow for what would normally be a very busy weekend for them. However, it turns out with the city announcing they're allowing more people to dine inside, it is not that simple once you read the fine print. Valentine's is days away, but the city is getting no love from the Chicago Restaurants Coalition. This after the city and Cook County announced the latest changes to indoor dining. The new plan will allow bars and restaurants to now hold up to 50 people per room, as long as the capacity remains at 25%. For some, this will mean big business. It's a very good thing for us. Christiana Vazani from Jean and Giorgetti has more square footage to work with than the average restaurants, with rooms both upstairs and downstairs, but that is not the norm. It's good into effect tomorrow. Yes. What changes? For this restaurant, nothing. <laughs> Chris Goronsky's Gage restaurant in the loop is among those too small to see a difference. First reaction is going to be, of course, positive, and then second reaction is going to be disappointed, you know, because you know that actually that's not going to affect your, your life. The Chicago Restaurant Coalition, who had been pushing to increase capacity to 50% in time for the boost Valentine's Day normally brings, had a scathing response, calling today's announcement unfair and urging aldermen to join them in challenging the mayor. The city's Dr. Allison Arwady did express hope to get there soon. I'm very hopeful that just over the next few weeks, if we continue to see the progress that we've made already, we'll be at a point to be able to move to a 50% capacity. Chefs like Goronsky say they're just hoping they can hang on in time. 11 months in, we've ridden a roller coaster, and every small step that we take, it will, will take us to the end of this ride. The city said every single decision they make is based on metrics that look at positivity rates and ICU capacity. They say once the city reaches what they call a moderate risk level, then indoor dining capacity can be eased into 40% and then eventually 50% if we can hold that level for two weeks. Reporting live from the studio, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.